Never King here. Welcome to my cave. Come on in. First thing I want to show you is this sign. It says cell phone rece reception goes here. And by here, that really means this Faraday cage. And that Faraday cage is going to make sure to block all the EMFs from the phone so we can maintain this healthy, pristine environment that we created that's EMF free, free of Wi-Fi, free of cell signals, free of, free of radio signals. So this is my office. This is where stuff gets done. This is my scanning office. And you can see just how beautiful that view is out there. So while I'm doing work in here, everything is connected by ethernet. So we don't have any Wi-Fi. We don't have any of those signals. We're able to maintain a pristine environment. It's faster, it's more secure, it's better for you. All right, y'all, come on in. Let's check out the master. We'll start with the bathroom. This is a nice wide open space. This is where we get our massages every week. And we have a steam sauna right here, which is nice. Sometimes we alternate between the steam sauna and the dry sauna, which I'll show you here in a second. So we're gonna go into the closet. And what else would you have? in the closet besides a sauna, of course. And we have all sauna space lights, which are all EMS free in here. We've remedi remediated uh, this, uh, this shell so we don't get EM any EMS from it, so we just use the sauna space lights. And then we have the most secure place in the house, EMF free, the place that needs to be as pristine as can be. You guys can see, see that we sleep on the ground. We have just a little box that I built just out of some wood to create some elevation so that the moisture, the humidity in Houston doesn't give us any mold. We have just a tiny little pad. It's hardly anything that we sleep on. Let me show you. It's just about like a little two inch wool pad. All the sheets are organic, dye free all that good stuff. You can see that we have Faraday material to go with the windows. Again, we have ethernet cords in here. The ground, the floor is grounded. The walls are shielded. Everything in here just allows us to get the most restorative sleep. Nothing is going to interrupt our sleep. This is, this is our sanctuary where we can recover. One of my favorite ways to recover if we have an injury or we're just feeling overtrained. We have a hard shell hyperbaric chamber. It goes up to about almost three atmospheres. We pump in pure medical grade O2. We have oxygen concentrators that are currently disconnected. We just use the O2, pure O2, because nothing's better than pure O2. So it's nice to have this hyperbaric chamber. We don't use it all the time, but like I said, when we're overtrained or there's an injury or something like that, it's a nice thing to be able to slip into and facilitate recovery. Some people like to show off their pantry. Well, I like to show off my oxygen canisters. We are ready. In the evenings, this is where I come to relax. I sit down on this pew and I just have all the lights off and people walk by and they don't even see me here. Yeah, this is kind of just my spot to settle down. So this room is the dog's room for Dober and Tundra. They come here, they lay out in the sun, and if it's winter time, we got the fireplace going on. We're cracking a fire for them. They're treated right. So I have my family crest up here on the wall. And you'll see on it, it says strength, courage, mastery, and honor. And those are really character attributes that we want to instill in our entire lifeblood. But my wife also added truth and love. That's the feminine side of it, isn't it? So what you'll see in the middle of it are two bloodlines. And when my wife and I first got married, we cut our, our finger with a, with a knife. 
we put our fingers together, and that's literally the bloodline that dripped down onto a piece of paper, and we just transpose that onto our family crest. Liver King here, here's what we're having for dinner. <laughs> I'm just joking. Most of you guys see that part of the story. What you don't see is the rest of the kitchen and the rest of my world, really, what I get to see. So I'd love to share and show some of that stuff with you. We do have a red light here, which is just great for the mornings. It's just love having early morning bone broth or just something warm and getting on that red light. But here's the great view that we get to open up to. All the doors, all the trees, the water. So when we're here in the kitchen, over here in the family room, the great room, if we're playing games, foosball or shuffleboard or pool, just listening to music, we have the doors open and we're connected to the woods and we're connected to nature. It's sort of like being inside and out at the same time. Love being here. Welcome to our theater room. We don't spend much time in this room, but when we are in this room, if it's past sunset, we have our Ubex glasses on, our blue light blocking glasses on, and we have that red light on, and we'll spend maybe 30, 40 minutes in here just sort of watching something, connecting something as a family. Welcome to our patio. This is where we have dinner most of the time. When it's really nice out, we'll have dinner here. But you'll see all of these tables are full when we have our barbarian parties. That bar over there is nice and full also when we have our barbarian parties. And so it's just nice to be able to come outside and have it screened in, but really feel like you're outside. You're in all of the trees. You're feeling the wind, you're feeling the earth, and you just get to connect with nature and get to connect with people around the table. So this is where Liver King's kids sleep. This is where they lay down their heads. You'll see the beds are really the same. They're just platforms made out of wood. So they're basically sleeping on about a three inch mattress here. It's just 100% wool, all natural organic materials. And you'll have shielded walls, grounded floors, shielded ceiling. So once again, as long as the Faraday curtains are closed, this place is really a safe haven. No EMS, no non-native EMS are getting in here. That's gonna allow you to get your most restorative, deepest sleep possible. Okay, so next we're gonna go into the pantry and you might think that I'm a little obsessive. You would be right. I'm very <laughs> obsessive. So check out what we have going on here. If something were to happen, we are covered. We probably have maybe perhaps six months to a year's worth of food at any given time and at least three months of supplements here. My favorite supplements. So what I have right here are farm fresh eggs that we just got today. These are fertilized eggs from our ranch, from Liver King Ranch. We go through about four dozen a day. So these, most of these will actually be gone by tomorrow. This is where we have our spring Mountain Valley water. We, I don't know how many gallons we have in here, maybe 30 gallons or so. And you might think that's a decent amount. And it is a decent amount, but we have a lot more. <laughs> this is our freezer room and our, our water room, really. So this is where we have our, uh, man, I don't know if these are one liters or two liters. But we got the individual servings here, and we have one, two, three, four, five freezers. This one is all beef organs, and up uh, it says all beef organs, other animal organs, chicken, turkey, duck organs, colostrum, and kid friendly stuff. Ground beef, paleo, organs, lamb, pork, and goat. That's freezer number two. That seems like a good freezer. All fish, shellfish, coconut, raspberry cheese. Bacon. I don't think I would go into freezer three very much, but freezer four, <laughs> this is a good freezer. Beef roast, whole chicken and duck, all bo bones, pork belly, oxtail, tongue, pig feet, chicken feet, duck parts. How awesome is this? Pork fat, tendons, beef fat. Then we have freezer number five. 
dog food only, but it also has marrow bones. So this is where I spend a lot of my time coming here to the, get the marrow bones. For those of you that follow Liver King, you've seen the gym a thousand times, so I'll be pretty brief about this one. Here we have a ton of dumbbells, most of the dumbbells that you might need. We have all the heavy balls that you might need for ball cleans. Tons of plates, probably all the kettlebells that you need. We got a sandbag, we got all the ankle weights for Barbarian and Super Barbarian, and we got a heavy sandbag, 150 pounder right here. Some plates, some more plates, a couple of racks, but check out this collection of bars. This is one of my favorite pieces. We got a safety squat bar, we got an earthquake bar, we got an Olympic lifting training bar, we got an axle bar, and then we got some standard bars, men's bar, women's bar, and you can see that this bar has been with us for maybe about 20 years or so. We got chains, we got chains, and we got more chains in that bucket. Lots of chains. We got our Concept 2 rower, we got our Concept 2 ski erg, and we even have a yoke or another rack that we bring outside. We got all of our lifting boxes when it's time to do some Olympic lifts. We got our regular boxes when it's time just to do box jumps or step ups. We got plenty of sleds. Like I said, a couple of different racks. We got an assault bike, more racks, more bars. We have a trap bar, we have a Swiss bar, football bar. We got our hammer, and we have another collection of plates. You can never have too many plates. And then we have the reverse hyper. Anybody who wants a 500 pound deadlift, you need this machine. Get this machine, this reverse hyper is incredible. Then we have a GHD, we have a T-bar row, and I think that's it. That would be Liver King's Gym. Let me just show you this piece real quick. We have a couple of extra sleds on the wall. These are fun sleds to push and pull. So we have all the bands you need for accommodating resistance so you don't get stale or stagnant or hit a plateau. And then we have all of our weighted vests. We have plenty of plates here and over here to load the weighted vests. And then we have all of our barbarian bags. So in case the whole family's doing them, we have plenty of bags so everyone can do barbarian as a tribe. Okay, we're standing on our outside patio. We have our cold plunge, and I hope that you can take a look at the cold plunge because there's pine needles in here, there are leaves in here, there's stuff in here that you'd probably say you should probably clean your cold plunge. But this is all earth. This is all stuff that's gonna help your, your skin biome. This is just getting the earth on you. So we have our cold plunge, we have our pool, and you can see it's just right out here in nature, right in front of the lake, it's in the woods. It's just a great feeling to be out here hanging out with the family and friends. So you can see we have a couple of different gardens here. In the gardens we have potatoes planted, we have spices planted, we have some squash planted. So when this garden is producing, this is what we're eating, and then you know that it's in season, and you sure as hell know that it's local. It's safe to eat. But you know this right here is our path that where we're walking right now, the sacred ground every evening. This is where Liver Queen and Liver King come to walk. We hold hands. We share our day, we share our wins, we share everything that we want to disclose. It's our kind of evening cadence. We got the dogs with us, you have the sun setting, you can kind of see the shimmering through the trees, and just connecting, having your feet planted to the ground and being out here together, it's our daily date. This is Liver King's tank. It's my armor-plated F450 dually. I love driving this truck. But what I love even more about it is it's the heaviest vehicle you can drive other than a semi-truck. And it's gonna offer protection for my entire family. And of course, we don't wanna have an accident, but that's why they call them accidents, right? And this is gonna offer protection, and this is gonna offer predictability, and this is gonna offer us a way to get from point A to point B while practicing ancestral tenant number four, which is shield.